Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Minasan, Namaskar and welcome to the class in the second lecture series on Introduction to Japanese Language and Culture. So in lesson 3, we had done Ageru and Murao, which is giving and receiving. Now today we are going to do Ageru Murao of course plus we are going to do Kureru and Kudasaru. Now, kureru and kudasaru mean receiving from someone. So, to understand all these verbs, ageru, murau, kureru and kudasaru, it is very important to understand the concept of uchi and soto in Japanese. So, as I told you, ageru means to give something to someone and murau means to receive something from someone. So you can see over here giving something that is ageru and receiving something from someone is murau. Now you can give something to anybody but here comes uchi and soto. Over here it does not mean outside. It has something to do with outside with reference to someone or with reference to a certain situation. Now you have also read that soto is the opposite of naka and naka means inside but these two words soto and naka in Japanese context are used to show social behavior or interaction between groups. Now as we have this word soto which is outside we also have another word which is uchi home or we could also say with reference to something inside. It could also mean your close group, people you are informal or closer to. It could also mean or refer to nation or to your kaisha where you work with reference to other companies or also refer to social groups. There will be different levels of interaction, for example, formal interaction, informal interaction, polite or close interaction with somebody, inside the house interaction with people uh, you know very closely, your own family members and of course the very formal interaction outside your own social group. So basically as you know, Keigo is to be kept in mind when we are talking in Japanese. Now you will remember that we did polite Japanese in restaurant expressions when you are talking to customers as we did in uh, restaurant expressions. You have to keep formal Japanese in mind. Now as I was talking about uchi earlier, so who all will be included in uchi or in your most inner group? So you can see here your parents will be there, your brothers, sisters, your close friends or some people even at workplace who are close to you. Who will be in the Soto group which is outside your close circle that will be people outside the family. Then informal situations where you have just met them or you do not interact with them that frequently or teachers or at office place. So now you see this concept of uchi and soto is that this is watashi, this is I. So it's me, then I have another group of people who are maybe my parents, brothers, sisters, friends, basically uchi, which is close to me, 
which I identify with, which are immediate family and I am informal with them. Then there is another group over here which is outside this group with whom I do not interact that much, who are not that close to me, I am a little formal with them. In this group, I can also have people from the office who are my close associates and I could have them in my inner group. But over here, definitely it is always people from outside your family or from not your close group. Now, this concept of having people in the inner group or having them outside your group, what language to use with them, what not to use with them, what expressions are considered formal and what expressions are considered informal, well, this concept is a little confusing initially, especially to foreigners, even though we also in our native languages do have this formal and informal language, but still in Japanese it is very, very defined. So if we can understand this, then verbs like ageru, murau and kureru are easy to relate to and easy to use in conversation. So now let us read a small kaiwa that I have written and see how these verbs are used. So this kaiwa is between Mira-san and Hana-chan. Of course, the picture does not show Hana and Mira over here. So well, we can replace Hana with or Mira with Rao. So well, e kaban desu ne, doko de kaimashita ka? So Rao-san is saying, e kaban desu ne, doko de kaimashita ka? Kore wa tanjoubi ni on my tanjoubi, oni san ni morai mashita. I received from him. Totemo steki na iro desu. So he says exceptionally steki is stylish as you know, na iro desu. It is a na adjective. Kono iro daisuki desu. So Hana again says I love this iro. Now there is this verb moraimashita or morau which means to get. E wa age mas. E wa bi ni age mas. So e gives. Now here we are not mentioning whom to. Over here e wa bi ni to b. So this ni over here is equivalent to to in English. Agemas is give. Now a e wa b ni hon o age mas. A gives a gives book to b. So, a is over here, a gives. Now, a also receives, a gets. From whom? From b. So, what are we talking? We are talking about a. We are talking what a is giving and what a is receiving. A va. So, we are talking about a. So, give is ageru and get is morau as you just had in your dialogue in the kaiva in your previous slide. So, now you can practice over here and see you have obasan and you have mago. Mago is grandchild. So, who is saying? Obasan is saying, isn't it? Watashi wa mago ni to my grandchild. Fusen o balloon o fusen o 
आगे मस और मस्ता मस्ता इज पास्ट एंड आगे मस इज आई एम गिविंग इन अ सिमिलर मैनर यू हैव ए एंड बी ओवर हियर और मे बी यू कैन गिव दैम नेम्स ऑल्सो सो हना चान हना चान एंड तारो हना चान इज सेंग ओवर हियर वाता शिवा तो मोदाची नी टू तो मोदाची प्रेजेंट तो ओ आगे मास आई एम गिविंग प्रेजेंट टू माई फ्रेंड और यू कैन ऑल्सो से हना वा और इंस्टेड ऑफ वाताशी यू कैन हैव एनी अदर नाउन लाइक हना चान सेंसे और ओकासन ओकासन व अगेन समवन एल्स नो नाम आए नेम नी प्रेजेंट तो ओ आगे मास सो वी हैव मोर प्रैक्टिस आफ्टर दिस यू विल सी हाउ पार्टिकल नी इज यूज नी इज इक्वल टू टू इन इंग्लिश एंड इफ समबडी वॉन्ट्स टू अंडरस्टैंड इन हिंदी वेल इट इज को इन हिंदी नाउ यू हैव दिस जेंटलमैन हियर राव ओवर हियर राव सान वा तनाका सान नी होन ओ आगे मास नाउ तनाका सान वा थारो कुन्नी होन ओ आगे मास नाउ यू हैव मारिको सान सो थारो कुन वा मारिको सान नी होन ओ आगे मास एंड वॉट इज मारिको डूइंग शी इज गिविंग अ बुक अगेन टू राव सान सो मारिको सान वा राव सान नी होन ओ आगे मास सो बेसिकली दिस नी ओवर हियर इज इम्पॉर्टेंट विद वर्ब्स लाइक आगेरु एंड मोराउ पार्टिकल नी विल बी यूज एंड वेन वी आर यूजिंग आगेरु नी इज टू विद मोराउ वॉट इज द मीनिंग लेट एस सी सो वाता शिवा चिची नी होन ओ मोराई माश्ता सो मोराई माश्ता इज टू गेट और रिसीव सो विल टू वर्क ओवर हियर प्लीज टेल मी इज टू ऑल राइट ओवर हियर इट विल नॉट वर्क सो वाता शिवा चिची नी ओ काने ओ मोराई माश्ता आई रिसीव मनी फ्रॉम माई फादर नाउ यू हैव डन दिस वर्ड kara which means from so instead of ni if you find ni is very difficult to remember or you are unable to use particle ni with morai mas then in the beginning initially you can use this word kara it's easier to make sentences for example watashiwa ha ha kara dores o morai mashita so instead of chichi you can again have haha or imoto or onisan or sensei and something instead of okane you can have any object any mono over here o morai mashita so the word can be kara also ni is of course used but you can also use kara you can replace ni with kara now you have the same picture earlier we said watashi wa mago ni fusen o agemashita now mago is saying grandchild is saying watashi wa obachan ni fusen instead of okane fusen o morai mashita i received fusen from my oba chan so in this manner you will use age mas and morai mas so now you can see these four are over here so this is rao tanaka taro and mariko so rao san wa tanaka san ni 
Agimas. And what is Tanaka-san doing? What can Tanaka-san say? Vata Shiva, so over here, Rao-san ni morai mashta, I received from him. Now when he is giving, Vata Shiva, Taro ni agemas. And Taro can say, similarly, Vata Shiva, Tanaka-san ni morata. And over here again, agemas and if she gives to him, then it is morai mas. Vatashiva mariko san ni morai mashta. Similarly, Vatashiva rao san ni agemas. Who is saying? Mariko is saying. But if Mariko gets from rao san, then what will Mariko say? Vatashiva rao san ni morai mashta. Please remember to use agemas, ageru and morao properly. To make it simple, kara can be used over here and ni can be used over here. Now you can practice. Look at the picture. Rao-san is asking Mariko, Mira, e kamera desu ne? Hai, oni-san ni morai mashita. Oni-san kara morai mashita. Oni-san ni morai mashita. Similarly over here, let us see what the kaiwa is. Steki na kaban desu ne? A very stylish bag. Itsu kai mashita ka? When did you buy it? Ah, kore desu ka? Are you talking about this bag over here? Oni-san ni morai mashita. So I have got it from my elder sister. Now there is more practice for you. Dare ni morai mashita ka? Whom? From whom did you get it? Dare ni morai mashita ka? Oka san ni morai mashita. He is thinking about his mother and saying oka san ni morai mashita. Now he is giving something to his mother. So A san and B san are talking. Kekkon kinembi. Marriage anniversary ni okasan ni to okasan nani o agemashita ka? What did you give? Okasan wa shosetsu ga suki desu kara. She likes novels desu kara. Thus, shosetsu o agemashita. I gave her books. Till now, it was all about giving and receiving. Now, who is giving? and who is receiving. So our subject is the person who is receiving and the person who is giving something to someone. Now we will do it from the point of view of the receiver. Now who is receiving it and what is the verb going to be? Well, the verb is kureru. So now you saw just now A gives Ageru. Watashi wa okasan ni agemas. Watashi wa okasan kara morai mas. But what about when okasan is giving something to me or I am receiving something from okasan? So, or haha, haha kara morai mashita is what you have done or Haha wa watashi ni kuremashita. So, haha is the one who is going to be giving. And who is receiving? I am receiving. So, the verbs completely change. Agemas is like this. Moraimas is again I am receiving. And over here, I am there. But I am receiving from this person. So basically this person is giving me and I am receiving. So the verb is kureru. So now you can practice this. Rao san is asking Mira. Mira is taking pictures. So well. Dare ni morai mashita ka? Oni san wa watashi ni to me kure mashita. So, Oni-san has given this to me. Kuremas is to 
give someone. Now, kuremas is when you put yourself over here and the person is giving it to you like this, that is kuremas. You can see very clearly. Oni san wa watashi ni kaban o kuremashita. So, ii kaban desu ne, dare ni moraimashita ka? Oni san wa watashi ni kaban o kuremashita. Or, doko de kaimashita ka? Iie kaimasen deshita. Oni san wa watashi ni kuremashita. So, he has given it to me. I have not bought it. I am not explaining each and every line. As I am sure by now, everything is very clear. So, now you can see over here verb ageru is used when I or we give something to you, him or her or you give to him or her or he or she gives to him or her. For example, watashi tanaka san oto san wa to Someone, maybe Mira, Tomodachi ni agimas is give. And similarly, when are you going to use morau? Exactly in that manner when you receive from someone or someone else receives from someone else. So, Watashi, Tanaka san, Oto san wa Mira and Tomodachi ni morai. Mas. Now you have kureru and kureru is when someone gives something to you or to someone else. So you can see very clearly someone is giving you or to us or someone else is giving to her or she or he or she gives to him or her. So again as we have practiced Make some sentences and it will be very easy. Tanaka san, oto san wa mira kare tomodachi ni kureta. Kare is he. Kano jo is she. And karera is they. Tanaka san wa mira san ni kuremashita. Oto san wa Mira san ni jisho o kure mashita. Oto san wa watashi ni ichiman en o kure mashita. He gave me 10,000 yen. Or bucho wa watashi ni wine o kure mashita. Bucho gave to me. So he gave me a wine bottle. Now you have practice over here for kure mas. So, oto san wa watashi ni toke o kuremashita. He gave me a toke. So, he gave me a oto san gave me. Oto san wa. It is not watashi wa. Watashi wa. No, it is oto san wa. Watashi ni to me. Then you have another one, same picture. Sensei wa watashi ni jisho o kuremashita. So, sensei gave me a jisho. Now, these three verbs also have their honorific counterparts and are used to show respect. So, these verbs are basically used with seniors in formal situations, people who are older to you in age and in rank. The honorific counterparts of ageru, morau and kureru we will do in our next lesson. We will practice more now. Tanaka san wa watashi ni hana o kure mashita. You can make out from the picture. Then jisho is there. So sensei wa watashi ni jisho o kure mashita. We had this example earlier as well. Now the reason for putting it over here is ewa jiten. Please remember English. Japanese dictionary. Though we all say Nihongo no Jisho, this is a literal translation of Japanese dictionary from English. So, in Japanese, 
you would say either jisho o kuremashita or ewa jiten o kuremashita not nihongo no jisho o kuremashita i have written it purposely over here so that you remember it now if it is a japanese english dictionary then it is wae jiten japanese english dictionary so japanese word into english and english words to japanese now sensei wa watashi ni tokei o kureta again i have written kureta also and kuremashita also over here so that you understand that both are exactly the same only this is informal and this is formal or normal conversation in mass form both mean exactly the same where to use is different whom to use it with is different so sensei wa watashi ni to ni now let us see what we have here tomodachi no oni san ga watashi ni what are you going to use now tell me what is the verb ageru kureru or morau so tomodachi no oni san ga or if i put wa over here then tomodachi no oni san wa watashi ni to me something o kureru so what is the kaiwa that you can make from here kore wa dare no boshi desu ka you can see the boshi over here kore wa dare no boshi desu ka kore wa watashi no boshi desu it's mine doko de kaimashita ka tomodachi no oni san ga watashi ni kure mashita so this is the kaiwa that you can make he can also say doko de kaimashita ka kai masen deshita tomodachi no oni san ga watashi ni kure mashita so this is how you will use kure mas and previously we had done age mas and murai mas as well make some more sentences on your own and i'm sure you'll become comfortable with kure mas and murai mas age mas now there are some kanjis for you today some very simple kanjis so this is onna and onna no hito is o m na no hi to this kanji you have done for person onna no hito now how is it going to be made this is ku then katakana no and ichi so ku and no and ichi that's how you would make onna no hito this is the pictogram well you can remember it any which way you want you can say kuno ichi one way to remember this or you can remember this picture and then draw the pictogram in a similar manner you have kodomo so the strokes are 3 how are the strokes 3 now 1 2 and 3 this is ko of kodomo so domo we are not doing at the moment we are just doing ko over here it's a three stroke character and so is onna now if you join these two then it becomes suki so this is onna this is kodomo so a mother likes her child the most so it is suki which is like and this character you have done dai and then suki like this like you very much daiski very very liked or loved then now danse is very clear otoko so this is a field and men would be working in the field why because chikara is required lot of strength is required so from the field from this character and chikara over here this is the kanji for chikara which is strength otoko is made oto ko oto ko means man you can very well see from here then otoko no kono hito 
person. This is an easy way to remember. Then we have Iro. Iro is like this over here. This is not the correct uh, stroke order. So, let me make it once again like this. Now, if you put two colors together, you have two dots. This is how it is going to mix. If you just try to sort of put a stick into it and move it a little, this is what is going to be made like this. So, one color is this and one color is this. It will just get mixed up. So, that is Iro. Now, there is a little more over here. You had done Unisan. It is a good way of remembering Unisan and you can see it from this picture also over here. Unisan talks too much. So, from his Kuchi, from his Kuchi, Unisan. This is used for legs also. So, you will have it in other kanji characters as well. So, Kuchi and over here Unisan. So, together it makes Unisan who talks too much. He has a big mouth. And then Onesan, Onesan is very stylish. Why? Because she lives in the city. So, you have done this character for Unnanohito and then this is the character for she which is city. So, together it will make Onesan who is very very stylish as she lives in the city. Then this is Imoto. Imoto. Now, this is also quite interesting. Together it will make Imoto. So, a girl standing next to a tree like this and the tree is not a full grown tree. It is a small tree and the girl is still very young. So, Imoto. And then you have Kaimas. So, this is a verb. This is eyes, again eyes and then you are walking. So, you, you choose with your eyes, do proper shopping with eyes and take it back home. Maybe choose your fish and put it in a basket and go home. That is how you would make this character for kau. Ka and u meaning to buy. So, now I have this very small kaiva today which a student of mine has written. I want you to read it. I am not giving you the Roman. Just read it and see how many kanjis you can figure out. Write them. Practice your hiragana and I will give the Roman in your next class where we are going to do the honorifics of agemas and muraimas and kuremas. So, you have couple of more exercises, practice those with your partner and I am sure that uh, your agimas, muraimas and kuremas will definitely be better after the practice and you will be able to use it very freely in your conversation. So, with this I would like to end our class today. You have learnt uh, how to use agimas, muraimas and Kuremas. I have given you a lot of uh, examples, lot of practice today and I hope that uh, all three verbs which are important and used in daily conversation are clear. Make some sentences at home, read the kaiva which I have given you uh, right at the end and uh, we will meet again very soon in our next lesson with lot of other new things. Sore deva minasan. また会いましょう。ありがとうございます。